Bros Superhero Brush Pack for Clip Studio Paint and Photoshop that you can find on graphicsly.com. This brush pack contains 102 Clip Studio Paint brushes and 102 identical Photoshop brushes so that you can easily switch between the software but still maintain the same look. The brushes are sorted into 8 Painterly, 6 Watercolor, 4 Bristol, 15 Pencils, 11 Pastels and Chalks, 11 Inks, 21 Pattern Brushes, and 26 Splatter Brushes. Once you purchase the brush pack, you will be able to download the zip file. Simply open the zip file and drag the folder to your preferred destination. The brushes are categorized neatly into folders for easy access, as well as images that showcase each brush. The included examples are layered for references. The fastest way to import a large amount of brushes is to drag them directly from folders. I start by dragging just one brush, then move the brush to the right of the top tabs to create a new brush folder, select the new brush folder, then drag the rest of the brushes into the panel. You can change the name of your brush folder by right-clicking on the Folder tab. The icon of each brush can also be changed by right-clicking on the brush. There are many icons to choose from, and the option to enable background color for sorting purposes. Or, you can use your own image as well. I use the bear icon for the brushes I designed. These icons will be attached when you export the brush. Note that the Folder tab will adapt the icon of the very first brush in order, hence why the icon changes when I change the order of the brushes. The Painterly brushes optimize the color mixing attribute in Clip Studio Paint's brush engine. Change between blend and running color for a different look for each brush. The watercolor brushes give a lifelike, soft watery blend with a bit of a dried watercolor edge look. Layer them to get the most out of these brushes. They really provide a fun look. The Bristol brushes are very heavily textured brushes that can add quite a bit of edge to your paintings. Combine these with painterly brushes to smudge and blend your colors. The pencil brushes have different tones to them, some lighter, some darker, even if your color remains the same. This makes for very easy value building by just switching between the tools. Chalk brushes resemble applying chalk on grainy surfaces. These are especially fun to use on dark background. Use grainy shading and grainy square chalk to add extra texture to your piece. Inking pens provide a variety of pen tips as well as imitating inking on different types of papers. I especially love the felt pen bleed, as it gives a quite natural look to resemble inking on standard sketchbook, where the ink lines won't always look perfect. The spatter brush is also super fun to use. You can add a little bit of randomness to your ink line. Clouds, foliage, and crowds are pattern brushes made for easy background creations. The splatter brushes are my absolute favorite from this pack. They make battle scenes so much easier to do and really add to the drama. I have used them countless of times in my paintings, such as the Attack on Titan piece and the Tokyo Gold piece. And there you go! Thank you so much for watching. You can find the Superhero Brush Pack on graphicsleet.com.